Cardiology really has a large database, a large number of subspecialties in, within cardiology, and historically nutrition was, was not one of them. Prevention was starting to get some traction, but they really were coming, the prevention specialists were coming from other fields, you know, hypertension, lipidology, and sort of uh, starting to partner with cardiology. And so we have the journals, uh, the big organizations, American College of Cardiology is the number one uh, journal for, uh, for the world for cardiovascular uh, medicine, followed by the American Heart Association and the American European Society of Cardiology. And those are the big journals that folks aspire to get their work into because they know that the readership is going to be uh, very high and uh, it's more likely that their work will be taken seriously and adopted as uh, uh, our operating principles. Uh, and includes, included in that is the idea that we put together guidelines, and by we I mean the American College of Cardiology, American Heart Association, but also the European Society of Cardiology puts together, together guidelines, and we really uh, try to synthesize all of the literature, uh, bring in a broader aspect of the literature, not just the, the hardcore uh, uh, cardiology journals, and get the expert committees to make recommendations on every condition. Well, throughout that process, there, is, there are literature searches and there are evidence reviews, but, and those would pick up the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. But most of us would not primarily uh, go and start looking at those kinds of journals because they're just often a different, uh, a different specialty. So it's really important for us as uh, people who are concerned about prevention, concerned about nutrition, to try to get more literature into the cardiology journals than mainstream cardiology journals. Uh, but at the same time, we have to keep looking at all of the, the, uh, uh, the world's literature. Not easy. So uh, at the American College of Cardiology, we have a nutrition um, subcommittee of the prevention uh, task force. And we actually were concerned about how much education physicians were getting in, in nutrition. And so we sent out a survey. And of all the questions, uh, the most striking was the one, how, how, do you, how expert do you feel giving patients, um, based on the education that you've had, giving patients ex uh, expert advice on nutrition? And it came back uh, that our trainees who have done college, medical school, internal medicine, and they're now doing cardiology as a subspecialty training, it was zero. And our practicing physicians, uh, members of the American College of Cardiology who have attained the fellowship FACC uh, designation, it was 1%. And so we have a serious deficit that we have to try to overcome in terms of physician education. And if I had to point to one thing about why it is that our population who comes to cardiology is still having second, third events, uh, why the cardiologists are still having cardiac events, that would be it.